the number of people who personally experience climate change goes up every year. Floods, fires. So what got us into this mess is burning fossil fuels. So the biggest action that we need to take to address climate change is to stop burning fossil fuels. But right now, the only tool that we have that works at cost and at scale to pull that carbon pollution out of the air is nature. Here in the Northeast, we have these hardwood trees like maple, oak, birch, and they do a tremendous job of holding carbon because all those leaves are pulling that out and then they store that in their wood and it's a real dense wood. And with that diversity comes strength and resilience. And so managing those forests for those qualities over time is going to really help us maximize our climate benefit as well as maximize the ecological and social benefits we get from the forest. And it's what takes some revenue to do is to, to look at the future forest and the resiliency of the forest. And knowing that in terms of forest productivity and in terms of carbon sequestration, all forests are not equal. Landowners were asking us, you know, I'm concerned about climate change. I have a forest. I know that what I do matters in terms of climate. What do I do and, and how do I do it? We want to have as many possibilities as we can going into the future, and we know we don't want to be tied to a diseased forest. That's where we reached out to the Nature Conservancy to see if they could help us diversify and protect the future forest that we envision here. Family Forest Carbon Program, it's a partnership between American Forest Foundation and the Nature Conservancy that is designed to let small family forest landowners get into the carbon markets, basically to get paid for doing climate smart forestry practices that put more carbon stock on the land. Climate smart forestry does two things. First of all, it makes sure that the carbon stock in the forest, the amount of carbon that's actually stored in there, is maintained or increasing. And at the same time, it also builds the forest resilience to climate change. So that's its ability to bounce back from climate change disasters. There's an enormous opportunity to manage our forests to be more productive and more diverse, to manage them for high quality wood and to manage them for carbon storage. But it all comes down to like, how do we hold that carbon in the forest and allow it to degrade over time? I am really excited about this program being the right fit for some of those landowners who just are ready. They want to do climate smart forestry and they're ready to partner with someone who can help them do it and give them funding to make it happen.